Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to navigate our online catalog. We are starting at our website, prendergastlibrary.org. And if you go down to where it says find materials, you're going to see an option that says the catalog. Click on that and that is going to take you to our catalog page. Now this may look familiar if you watched our video on how to access your online account. Up here you can see our search bar. Now the default is the library catalog and if you click on that arrow a drop down menu is going to appear that gives you some other options. Other options are title, author, subject, ISBN, ISSN. ISSN is usually used for magazines, series, or call number. I recommend sticking with title and author. You can use subject but just remember sometimes the way libraries catalog their books by subject is a little bit different than you would think they would be. All right, so I'm going to leave it at library catalog because this will allow me to do a keyword search. And I'm going to do a search for dolphins. I want to see if we have any books about dolphins. All right, so if I scroll down here, I will see the different options that we have for dolphins. You'll see ones that say video recording. That means it's a DVD or a VHS, but most likely a DVD. And most of these other ones are going to be books. All right, so there are a lot of options here. How can I narrow down this search to find what I'm really looking for? Over here on the left-hand side, you're gonna see options that say refine your search. Now, one thing I can do is limit to currently available items, so only items that are currently checked in. I can choose an author if I know that I'm looking for a particular book by a certain author, I can do that. And then if I scroll down, collections so where is the book located um, this may or may not be useful but if you know you're looking for a DVD you can click on DVD and only the DVD options would show or if you know you're looking for a picture book or if it's fiction or nonfiction I can also select which library I'm looking for so say I just want to see what's in James Prendergast library I would click on that and it will narrow my results down to James Prendergast library books about dolphins or that have dolphins in either the title, the description, or author. All right, so as you can see, I went from like 500 some results to 125 results. It's a little bit more manageable. But I'm also looking for a juvenile book. So under item types, I can't choose what type it is. So an audiobook, a book, a DVD, juvenile book, juvenile DVD, or juvenile media. If I click on juvenile book, it should limit the items to those that are classified as a juvenile book. So as you see, my results went down to 66. All right, and there are still some other options, location. And location is where it's located in the building. The locations we use in Prendergast are second floor, which is um, the upper floor of our reading room. We use children's area, which is the children's room, children's new book. We also do young adult new books, new books and then we also have main floor which is the main floor of the reading room as you can see there's some other options here that's because other libraries classify their places in different other locations and since we have copies at multiple libraries their locations are going to show up as well if i know what series it is i can select that if i'm looking for dolphins in a particular area i can limit by place or I can limit by subject. So if I'm looking for dolphins and something else, I can look through the subject to see if there's anything of interest there. All right, so we're checking out some of our results here. So we got dolphins, 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 strange and wonderful, whales and dolphins, island of blue dolphins. So this book might not isn't specifically about dolphins, but it's got dolphins in the title. Like I said, I just did a keyword search, so various things are going to show up. All right, so we're gonna look at one of these. Let's look at Dolphins, Strange and Wonderful. All right, so I can see I have the title, the author, and items available for a loan, but I don't know where they're available. So in order to find that out, I'm gonna click on the title. And this is gonna open up the page for that item. So once again, I have the title, the author, and other publication information, the subjects, a summary and then down here tells me where it's located so it's located at the James Prendergast Library Association it's in the children's room and the call number is J599.53 P and it is available so say this is the book I want what I can do is go back up and on the right hand side I see placehold 
I can place a hold. When I click on that, it's going to ask me for my login and password. Your login is your library card number, 13 digits, no spaces, and then your password is your four digit PIN. You log in, it's going to say confirm, so place a hold, pick up location. No, it'll default to your home library, but you can change it if for some reason you need to pick it up at a different location. And then you're going to click confirm hold. And as you can see, it takes me to my hold page. And there it is. And now I have the option to suspend it or cancel it if I need to. All right, so let's go back to the catalog. And if you're logged in, the nice thing is that it will show you over here on the right hand side how many checkouts you have and how many holds you have pending right now. All right, so that is a basic search on our catalog.